Hi, this is Nick. I took some pictures inside the Ancaster Home Depot recently with the intention of making a video on drywall taping tools. And I had it all scripted. I was going to explain each type of tool, but the video ended up being really long. I couldn't keep it under 10 minutes. And I'm not sure it was all that interesting. So I'm just going to go through all my pictures really fast and try to explain each one. Some tools are a little bit more geared to do-it-yourself type work. Some is a little more suited to professional drywall taping. I'm not even going to differentiate which one's which. I'm just going to go through the pictures. Hopefully you might find it interesting. Here's the section of drywall taping tools near the paint section at Home Depot. There's another section near the building supply which is also taping tools. So you see the Richard putty knives on the left here. On the very bottom you've got the very cheap ones that are plastic. I don't buy those ever. Here's another shot of the entire section. Husky is the different sizes of knives. Richard brand. Here's two different sanding pole heads. This will screw onto the top of a painting pole. Here's a hand sander. Here's a smaller sized hawk. A professional taper won't use one of these. This one's 10 by 10. A professional size hawk is 13 by 13. Buy that one. Okay, this is a paint mixing paddle. You don't want this one. This won't mix up your drywall compound very effectively. Here's the other section in the store. Other set of knives you can buy. Various sizes. A little bit lower on the shelf you see to the left. Kind of hiding in the dark. There's trowels. That's the professional sized hawk. 13 by 13. Buy that one. You can screw it together. Easy. That's the proper drywall compound mixing paddle. That's the one you want to buy. Okay, these trowels are various sizes. Some of them are finishing trowels. Some are just a 12 by 4. I recommend actually a stainless steel trowel for the professional taper. They're easier to keep clean. Home Depot does not sell them. Pick up stainless steel trowels. Go to a specialty drywall taping store. Here's some different drywall joint material for coating joints. Up left you've got mid flex and original flex. That's for inside and outside angles typically that are regular, greater or less than 90 degrees. Often used when the drywall has been cut very rough and paper tape would pick up all those contours. Mid flex and original flex, it's a paintable surface. You apply it with compound and then you coat over top of it with compound. Sheetrock 90, 20 and 45. Sheetrock of course being a name brand, it's setting compound. It expands when it dries as opposed to ready mix which tends to shrink when it dries. Uh, Sheetrock, the setting compound has various uses for patching or applying mesh tape. It's recommended that tapers use Sheetrock with applying mesh as it dries harder. Durabond 90, that's a great product. I use it for filling bead and bulkheads. It dries very quickly. It doesn't expand or shrink, but it's difficult to sand. But it can be used effectively. Here's a pan, just a pan. Very good for mixing small little batches of mud for patching. And for other things, it's a good it's a good water ladle too. Sanding blocks, sanding sponges, same thing. Different grits. 180 grit is too fine of a grit. Buy the 120s. 180, I think, is more for the do-it-yourselfer that maybe they're worried to over sand their work or wreck it. Well, just be careful and buy the 120. Okay, that's an inside corner trowel. It's used for coating both sides of the angle at one. Now, that is a useful tool, trying to, say, coat things within a day. An outside corner trowel, I don't even include one in my toolkit. I don't know a lot of tapers that do. I don't think it's an essential tool. Oh, this is the wooden handled pole sander. This is the head that goes on. It's got a male end. It's different from the ones I previously talked about. There's the wood handle. I pulled one out. This here is the most popular type of ready mix compound. It's CGC light. In Ontario, it's the most common. There is general purpose. There's machine mud. There's dust control mud. This one's the most popular. It's light because it's easier to sand. The compounds are generally pretty much the same. Here's Mike. Just through. Okay, hey, thanks for uh, listening. Hope you like the video.